This is Accurate TV News, where you get your news on time, on point. And Five-year-old underwent heart surgery successfully. Five-year-old Jermaine Taylor successfully underwent an operation on Wednesday to have a new pacemaker implanted following an appeal that galvanized the Jamaican diaspora around him to get the much-needed surgery. Jermaine's plight had been highlighted by the cleaner setting off a chain of events that culminate in Wednesday's successful outcome. I want to thank everyone who reaches out to assist. A heavy weight has been lifted and I want everyone to know how thankful we the family are for the assistance rendered his mother Lorraine Hayes told the gleaner. The operation was done at the Bustamante Hospital for Children with the procedure being performed by Dr. Sherrod Little. Hayes said the doctors have advised that he should be released from the hospital in the following five days. She thanked the doctors, nurses and everyone involved in ensuring the successful outcome of her son's procedure. Hayes had previously told the gleaner that two weeks after Germain was born, it was found that he had a heart defect. He was transferred from the Victoria Jubilee Hospital to Bustamante Children's Hospital where a pacemaker was placed in his heart. That pacemaker need replacement as Jermaine's heart function had become poor. His mother told the gleaner that the pacemaker was in need of replacement and the family was unable to come up with 22,100 US dollars needed to purchase the new device. The device was sourced in the United States and the doctor at the Bustamante Children's Hospital said they would perform the procedure to implant the device if and when it was purchased. The family had set up a GoFundMe to try and raise the necessary funds to purchase the device but it did not gain any traction. Contact was made with Dr. Robert Clark, head of the Jamaica Physician Association, senior medical advisor at the Diaspora Northeast and a family friend who in turn reached out to the gleaner for help. Jamaica's Consul General in New York, Alison Wilson, who had also been informed of Germain's plight, jumped on board and raised the necessary funds to purchase the pacemaker. She told the gleaner that she was very happy at the successful outcome of his procedure. I am happy that we are able to help Germain and Rival in the successful outcome but I am still concerned about the other children at Bustamante Hospital who are in need of similar devices she said Wilson thanked the newspaper for bringing Jermaine's need to her attention and also extended her thanks to Hartford Hospital in Connecticut for its assistance in securing the device I hope to meet Jermaine sometime in the near future he has a bright future and he can now do all the things a five-year-old does she said Clark who is also head of Help Jamaica Medical Mission and East Orange Medical Service in East Orange, New Jersey, said the plight of young Jermaine was brought to his attention by Sonia Samuels, aunt of Jermaine, and he reached out to the family to offer whatever help he could give. I discussed the situation with the board of Help Jamaica Medical Mission and it was decided that the organization would spearhead the drive to help raise a fund for young Jermaine, said Clark. Medical Mission, which has been in existence since 2010, is a 501 C3 nonprofit organization that has undertaken a number of medical missions to Jamaica as well as other parts of the Caribbean and Africa. We cannot take on all cases that come to our attention but I believe 
that this was a special case, he told the Gleaner. Clark believes that some cases are very special and deserving of assistance and Germain's was such was one such. We in the diaspora can help and I am extremely happy at the successful outcome of this case, he said. Clark has been in constant touch with the doctors in Jamaica who were treating Germain as he monitored the situation. 17 charge in latest Kahal Yahweh raid. 17 of the 20 Kahal Yahweh members who were detained by the police yesterday morning have been charged with breaches of the Child Care and Protection Act. They were taken into custody during a joint special operation of the security forces at their Paradise Avenue religious compound in Montego Bay, St. James. The charges come merely three weeks after the children of many of those now in custody were placed in state care. The religious sect leader was also taken into custody, but up to press time, it was not clear whether he was charged. The police confirmed that several exhibits, photographs, and other material of evidential value were removed from the compound by investigators. The operation is part of our continued effort to ensure the safety and well-being of all individuals associated with the compound, particularly the children, following our action on June 7, 2023, said a statement from the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, Corporate Communication Unit. According to the JCF, it has been working closely with other government agencies and the family involved to ensure a thorough, fair and considerate handling of the complex matter. Representative from the Ministry of Health and Wellness joined the law enforcement team in Friday's operation, which was incident-free. The Kohal Yahweh compound, which is located two doors away from the late Kevin Smith Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries made headline in 2019 when the property was raided by the authorities who removed the children from one of the leaders. Those children have been reunited with their mother. One former leader recently recounted a horror experience of allegedly abuse he and his wife endure when they tried to leave the Paradise Norway property five years ago. The man revealed that he had moved there at the age of 29 and became deeply involved in the religious sect. While searching for a spiritual leader, he was introduced to the faith by a friend and soon immersed himself in the community where chastity of young females was high value. The leaders consider virginity as important due to the concept of priesthood. According to their belief, priests should only marry virgin. It is a profound ritual, almost like a sect binding that gives them a sense of autonomy within the organization, he stated. Upon his arrival at the compound in 2017, he too was bestowed with a virgin partner and granted leadership status. Parents had no say in whether their daughters were groomed for sexual orientation or forced into marriage, he said. He accused the leader of manipulating their followers through fear, thereby ensuring compliance. He revealed that he witnessed the beating of fellow members and children. Compliance became the norm to avoid punishment, said the man, noting that during his time at the compound, more than 100 people resided there. He left the church last December and over a month ago started to reveal information on his TikTok channel daily. Don't forget to subscribe to Accurate TV News. If you don't do it already, you can do it now.